Let us look at the collapsing rule that is applied to the find operation on the join sets to make the operation efficient. Though the simple find algorithm has the time complexity of O of n, which is better time complexity, but this simple find algorithm does not perform well in certain cases. Let us consider the case where we have five elements in the disjoint set represented as a tree in this fashion and the nodes of the tree stored in array P. Let us perform the sequence of find operations by using the simple find algorithm. Let us first find element 1. So we will call simple find algorithm and pass 1 for parameter i. The algorithm has the while loop with the condition p of i greater than or equal to 0, which is to loop until the value of p of i becomes negative 1 or until the root is found. So in this case, we have i as 1. Therefore, the while loop runs until i becomes 5, that is p of i is negative 1. And then the simple find algorithm returns the index 5, which is the root. Let us perform the next sequence of find operation to find element 2 using the simple find algorithm passing parameter i as 2. The algorithm has the while loop with the condition p of i greater than or equal to 0. And in this case, i is 2. Even in this case, the while loop will run until i becomes 5 and returns index 5. Similarly, in the next sequence and the following sequences, for any value of i, the while loop will run until i becomes 5 and returns the index 5, which is the root. Now, suppose we have n number of elements in the disjoint set represented as a tree in this fashion. And if we perform the sequence of find operations in this way, starting from finding the element 1 to n, then we will be calling the simple find algorithm n times. The simple find algorithm has O of n as the time complexity. And calling sequence of simple find algorithm n times will take O of n square as the time complexity. So simple find algorithm doesn't perform well in certain cases. To improve the performance of simple find algorithm, we have to make sure that the tree will be of minimum height. Therefore, to achieve this, we make use of the collapsing rule for the find operation. The collapsing rule states that if node j is on the path from i to its root, then make root of i as the root of j. In a simple way, the collapsing rule means that after finding the root of the node, we replace the parent of the node with a root node. In fact, we have to make root as the parent of every node along the path. To demonstrate the find operation using the collapsing rule, we will consider a disjoint set with eight elements represented as a tree with node one as the root. The nodes of the tree are stored in the array P. And if you observe, negative eight is stored at index one. The negative sign tells that it's the root, and 8 is the count of number of nodes in the tree. The rest of the values in array P are the parents of the nodes. Now let us look at the find operation using collapsing rule. Let us perform the find operation on element 8 using the collapsing rule. The parent of node 8 is node 7. The parent of node 7 is node 5. And the parent of node 5 is node 1, which is the root node. So, we found the root of the tree, that is node 1, to which node 8 belongs. Now, according to the collapsing rule, we need to make node 1 parent of node 8. Then, along the path, we also have node 7. So, we also need to make node 1 parent of node 7. Then, along the path, we also have node 5. So, we also need to make node 1 parent of node 5. But, Node 1 is already the parent of node 5, so there is nothing to be done. And this is how the collapsing rule works. The purpose of making nodes on the path of the node to the root as the children of the root is that the subsequent find operations on those elements will directly lead us to the root of the tree. So this is how the find operation using the collapsing rule is performed on disjoint sets. Now let us look at the find algorithm using the collapsing rule. We will call this algorithm as collapsing find. And this algorithm also takes the same parameter 
as the simple find algorithm that is parameter i, where i is the element or the node of the tree. Then within the algorithm, we will have a variable r and initialize the variable r to variable i. The variable r will store the root of the tree to which the element or node i belongs. Then we will have the while loop which is same as we have in the simple find algorithm, except that i is replaced by variable r. So we will have the while loop with the condition p of r greater than 0. And within the while loop, we will have the statement as r assigned p of r. Now, this while loop will run until p of r is less than 0, which means until p of r is negative 1, which means we have reached the root. So, using this while loop, we have found the root of the tree, which is r. Then, we need to apply the collapsing rule, that is, to replace the parent of every node along the path with the root. So, we have to start with node i and follow the path to the root node. To do this, we will have another while loop with the condition i not equal to r. This while loop is used to collapse all the nodes on the path from i to its root. Now, within this while loop, we will first find the parent of i, which is p of i, and assign it to variable s. So, variable s contains the parent of i. Then, we need to make the root node as the parent of i. So, we will have the statement as p of i assigned r since r stores the root node. Then we need to collapse the next node on the path. The next node on the path is the node s, which is the parent of i. So we will make node s as i. To do this, we will have the statement as i assigned s. Now these steps have to be repeated until the root node. So, while loop will again check the condition i is not equal to r and the process continues until the condition becomes false and all the nodes on the path are collapsed to have the root as the parent. Then, once the collapsing rule is applied, we will finally return the root node which is stored in r. So, we will have the statement as return r. So, this is the collapsing find algorithm which returns the root of the tree to which i belongs, as well as collapses all the nodes along the path to have the root node as their parent. Let us look at how this collapsing find algorithm works. Let us consider we have eight elements in the disjoint set represented as a tree in this fashion, and the nodes of this tree stored in array p. Let us apply the collapsing find algorithm to find element 8. So, we will call the collapsing find algorithm and pass 8. So, parameter i is 8 and the first statement in the algorithm assigns i to r. So, r becomes 8. Then, we have the while loop with the condition p of r greater than 0. The variable r at this stage is 8. So, p of 8 which is 7 is greater than 0 is true. Therefore, the statement within the while loop r assigned p of r is executed. Here, p of r, which is p of 8 is 7, which is assigned to r. So now, the value of r will become 7. Then, the condition in the while loop, p of r greater than 0 is checked. The variable r at this stage is 7. So, p of 7, which is 5, is greater than 0 is true. Therefore, the statement within the while loop, r assigned p of r is executed. Here, p of r, which is p of 7, is 5 which is assigned to r. So now the value of r will become 5. Then the condition in the while loop p of r greater than 0 is checked. The variable r at this stage is 5. So p of 5 which is 1 is greater than 0 is true. Therefore, the statement within the while loop r assigned p of r is executed. Here p of r which is p of 5 is 1, which is assigned to r. So now the value of r will be 1. Then the condition in the while loop p of r greater than 0 is checked. The variable r at this stage is 1. So p of 1 which is negative 8 is greater than 0 is false. Therefore, the statement within the while loop will not execute and the while loop terminates. So after this while loop executes, the value of r will be 1. Then we have another while loop to perform the collapsing rule with the condition 
i not equal to r. At this stage, i is 8 and r is 1. So, 8 not equal to 1 is true. And the statements within the while loop will execute. We have the statement s assigned p of i. At this stage, i is 8 and p of i, which is p of 8 is 7, which is assigned to s. So, s contains the value 7, which is node 7. Then, we have the statement p of i assigned r. So, here i is 8 and p of i will be p of 8, which is assigned r, which is 1. So, parent of node 8 will become node 1, which is the root. Then, we have the statement i assigned s. So, here we have s as 7, which is assigned to i. And now, i will be storing 7. So, node s, which is node 7, will now become node i. Then, the statement in the while loop i not equal to r is checked. At this stage, i is 7 and r is 1. So, 7 not equal to 1 is true. And the statements inside the while loop executes. We have the statement s assigned p of i. At this stage, i is 7 and p of i, which is p of 7 is 5, which is assigned to s. So, s contains the value 5, which is node 5. Then we have the statement p of i assigned r. So, here i is 7 and p of i will be p of 7, which is assigned r, which is 1. So, parent of node 7 will become node 1, which is the root. Then we have the statement i assigned s. So, here we have s as 5, which is assigned to i. And now i will be storing 5. So, node s, which is node 5, will now become node i. Then, the condition in the while loop i not equal to r is checked. At this stage, i is 5 and r is 1. So, 5 not equal to 1 is true. And the statements inside the while loop executes. We have the statement s assigned p of i. So, at this stage, i is 5 and p of i, which is p of 5, is 1, which is assigned to s. So, s contains the value 1, which is node 1. Then, we have the statement p of i assigned r. So, here, i is 5 and p of i will be p of 5, which is assigned r, which is 1. So, parent of node 5 will become node 1, which is the root. Actually, node 1 is already parent of node 5, so there is no change. Then, we have the statement i assigned s. So, here, we have s as 1, which is assigned to i, and now i will be storing 1. So, node s, which is node 1, will now become node i. Then, the condition in the while loop i not equal to r is checked. At this stage, i is 1 and r is 1. So, 1 not equal to 1 is false and the statements inside the while loop will not execute. And finally, we have the return r statement, which will return 1 since r is 1. So, this is how the collapsing find algorithm works by returning the root node to which the element belongs, as well as collapsing all the nodes that are on the path. Now, this collapsing find algorithm has better performance in subsequent find operations, since the subsequent find operations for node 8 or any node that was on the path from root to node 8 will only take one step to find its root and can be performed in constant time. Therefore, this algorithm has better performance than the simple find algorithm. Now, let us look at the time complexity of the collapsing find algorithm. The first statement is the primitive statement and takes constant time. Then, we have two while loops. The first while loop will execute for at most n times. The second while loop may also execute for at most n times. Then, the return statement is a primitive statement that takes constant time. Therefore, the time complexity of this collapsing find algorithm is O of n. So, this is all about the collapsing find algorithm or the find operation performed using collapsing find.